And jurors told the judge that they're having trouble reaching a verdict, so the judge told them to go back into deliberations and continue. But just about 30 minutes ago, he sent them home for the day. They'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to pick up where they left off. The federal trial of Marco Perez stretching into its seventh day today. The jury taking their time to reach a verdict. They started deliberating around noon yesterday. I think every lawyer could agree upon is that we don't want a jury who rushes their decisions. The jurors have spent hours going back over evidence and testimony. The charge that has likely dragged the case out is one of the most serious Perez is facing, obstruction of justice by killing a witness. That's what Perez's attorney, John Beck, suspects. At question, did Perez know that Sean Tudor was a Mobile police officer. I just can't read the tea leaves. Probably, I would expect that's what they're talking about. Uh, that would make the most sense. Perez is facing four federal counts. The prosecution and defense presented a lot of evidence in an effort to sway the jury. More than 25 witnesses testified in the case. Security camera video was shown, along with video of Perez's interrogation. There's a lot to look at. I mean, I know I've, I've been preparing this case for months. And the jury's got to do this in, in a week, week and a half, and a couple of days of deliberation. I don't blame them for taking their time at all. The jurors will be back here at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Regardless of the outcome, Perez faces a capital murder charge in state court. Without a verdict, the prosecutors were not able to go on camera with us today. But hopefully, once one is reached, we'll be able to ask them about what's going on with this case. We're live tonight in downtown Mobile outside the federal courthouse. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.